Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video, we're gonna be taking a very quick look at the brand new Bauer Fit app. The idea behind the app is to allow players all over the world from just using a smartphone or an iPad or a tablet, I guess you could say, is to be able to find or determine their sizes with protective equipment without having to go to a store or have anyone size them up themselves. Now, this sounds like a very awesome idea and something that you'd think would essentially be adopted by pretty much everyone that's out there, whether you're a new player trying to figure out what sizing equipment you need to be able to pick up, or if you're a player that just wants to double check because you've maybe not had to buy your equipment for a while and you can't remember what size you were, this app essentially allows players to be armed with enough information to be able to walk into a store and have a general idea of what sizes that they need for the different various pieces of protective equipment. That does exclude the helmet, of course. So what I want to do in this video is just give you guys a bit of insight into how the app actually functions, how difficult it is to use, and of course, most importantly, how accurate the results the app provides you with are. Now, one of the first things I noticed using the app, you definitely need to listen to what it recommends, having a player, for example, in all black clothes and then against a white background, just to make the analyzing process a lot easier to determine where the person is and where the object, in this case the wall, is behind them so it can give you accurate readings. But using the app, even doing that, of course, like any app on any device, it's not 100% perfect. It does bug out, it does freak out on occasions. Even if you follow all of the steps exactly, there's instances where it just kicks you out or says that it's unable to get your measurements and wants you to enter them in manually. What you need to do is essentially just compose yourself, reset everything and start again. It does eventually work. So after we actually got the app to work the way we wanted it to and the way it's supposed to, in terms of the readings that it was giving us, I found that if you do follow the steps properly and you listen to all of the instructions the app gives you on what it wants you to be against, flat surfaces, touching on the points about the different colors it wants you to be present with. So don't have a player wearing a gray top against a white surface. It's gonna be difficult for it to pick up the details that way. But after following the instructions properly, the results that it gave us, from what I could tell, were pretty accurate. I'm gonna be measuring Tommy from the Everyone Active Raiders who's, you've seen him in a bunch of videos that we post, whether it's the podcast, whether it's the stick reviews. We're gonna be using him for the example to see how close and how accurately it gives us his sizing to see if this app is something that we could actually use, especially if you're a player that has no access to a hockey store. Is this something you could use to buy your equipment remotely? Let's find out. So in terms of the app, this is what it's managed to get for you. If we start off with, you started off with your shoulders, right? Yes. Shoulders, we have medium. Yeah. Which is? Spot on. Spot on, perfect, okay. Then you went to elbows. Yep. Your size was small. Yes. These are recommending medium. Yeah, I, I like my my, show, uh, my elbows are a bit smaller. Yeah. Just because of the range of movement and stuff like that. Per personal preference. Yes, that. yeah, definitely. All right, cool. And then from there you did gloves. Yeah. Gloves were? 13s. 13. Perfect. Okay, that's pretty sick. Small of a fat. From there we went on to shorts, yep. pants. These are coming up as small. Yeah, so uh, okay. I said small or medium, depending on like the leg length and stuff like that. So Cool. So, this, so far it's pretty good, pretty accurate. Yeah. And then the last one is shin guards, which are coming up as 14. Yeah, so with, with my shins, I have them sort of, my tongue sticking out. So yeah. I like them a little bit shorter, just so I've got that little bit of range. So, and again, like you said, personal preference, but fair. I it's, could get away with wearing 14s. It's pretty close. Yeah. That's not too bad then, huh? Definitely. Right, fair play. So what would you rate this out of 10 then? Yeah, it's, it's not bad. I mean, like you said, it's spot on, but like the per personal preference comes into... Into play? Yeah. Where do you think this is going to help? Like, what types of people do you think this type of app is going to benefit? Um, I, I think it's going to help. So like, if you, if you do it and then you go to the shop, so you have sort of like a guideline instead of going there and having no clue. Yeah. It's going to give you like a guide to go on, but like I said, you want to try others because of personal preference, like my shins and my elbows. Every player has that personal preference of kit mm -hmm. with the, the size, that comfortable. So it's, it's good to give you a guideline, but I wouldn't stick to it like spot on. Like yeah, that's yeah. what I need, that's what I need. You want to still... You want still, to take it as the gospel, it's just a yeah, case of like... Yeah, just like a guideline. Fair, that's, that's a fair point, yeah. Awesome. And with regards to the app not playing ball the first time, it's definitely worth scanning the player maybe three or four times and then getting a general consensus from the different readings that you've got to figure out which one is coming up the most. So for example, if you have four different readings and on one of them it said the player was a size 16 shin, then with the other three scannings, it recommends that that player is a size 13 inch with the leg pads or the shin pads. 
obviously you know which one that you should go for there. So it's definitely worth scanning a player at least three to four times to get the best average to figure out what size they actually are. As always guys, a big thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm interested to see if other manufacturers are going to create systems like this for us to be able to gauge sizes uh, of our equipment regardless of where we are just using the devices that we have. It'd be great to see if it's possible to do something like this with helmets. And of course we already know that this is possible with skates but not from a smartphone. You need to have a proper scanner or some sort of device to be able to capture the dimensions of your foot. But it's nice to see that technology is catching up with some of the, I guess you could say difficult things and annoying things that we have to do in hockey when we're buying our equipment. But as always, leave any questions that you have down below in the comment section. Make sure you thumbs up the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.